We wanted to offer a broad coverage of the interesting and hot topics uh, in the field of integrated photonics. So we, in designing the program, we focused on silicon photonics, which is still a growing and very interesting field. We also focused on plasmonics and metamaterials, which is a vibrant and increasingly interesting field with new developments uh, from year to year. We've had a large number of submissions in metamaterials and plasmonics that we're very happy with, and our roster of invited and tutorial speakers. We also have a strong program in hybrid integrated photonics. Some of the hot submissions in this topic area include a submission on a graphene-based uh, high-speed modulator, which can be made compatible with CMOS photonics. Another interesting submission, this time in the category of 3.5 photonics, is a, um, an isolator that can be fi fabricated without the requirement of integrating a semiconductor with the magnetic material uh, through a very simple and elegant fabrication procedure. The area of silicon photonics is a very exciting and um, increasingly interesting area. The reason for that is because some of the devices um, are starting to provide solutions for the real world because silicon, highly integrated silicon photonics can reduce power consumption and uh, uh, can alleviate uh, bandwidth requirements for optical interconnects. And in our roster of invited talks, we try to focus on, on this trend of shifting from pure research, researching devices to applications, which we start to see. We've started to see in the last uh, few years. Silicon photonics is a hot area, not only from the point of view of applications. There are new and interesting scientific developments or more fundamental developments and new, switching de new types of switching devices, not only based on nonlinear optics, but also on optomechanical effects, and I find the synergy between applications and more fundamental effects are very fertile in this field. Very hot area that we've had a lot of submissions in were metamaterials and plasmonics. This year we have a special emphasis on nonlinear and active effects in metamaterials, whereby um, active media um, can either compensate for the loss in plasmonics or metamaterials or plasmonics can enhance active and nonlinear effects in metamaterials. Another area that I would like to emphasize within metamaterials and plasmonics is the field of transformation optics and cloaking, which is a concept that's very easy to understand but harder to realize. And this year we've had a couple of interesting contributed papers. One demonstrates spatial cloaking in two dimensions over the entire visible range. A second interesting paper, which was contributed to the metamaterial sessions, deals with much newer concept, which is cloaking in time, which is a concept that was only initiated in the past year or so and it's already been demonstrated practically. Another contributed submission that I would like to mention is a paper on dealing with the integration of plasmonic waveguides and plasmonic lasers. Obviously that is a first step in producing a nanophotonic platform that can be shrunk to very small scales because of the ability of plasmonic devices to concentrate light on very small scales.